Good morning. This is the second day of my uh, wing ding adventure. <clears throat> I got uh, finished editing a video and uploading it. So hopefully you, you saw that in my trip over here. Uh, today I need to get me some ice for my cooler, and make me some breakfast, and uh, get registered. So this is that uh, yellow egg container I talked about in the last video that uh, came flying out of my cooler. It was actually, you probably can't really see it, you can feel it right here, there's some uh, skid marks from where it was on the, uh, on the asphalt. Uh, if it would have been an egg carton like normal, these eggs would have been all over the road. But if you open this little plastic container up, oh, look at that, I don't even see a crack on these things. So, um, I'm so glad I almost didn't put them in here. It's like, oh, I'll just get them later. I'm glad I did because I didn't strap my cooler down like I should. Look at me. I got the good bacon. It's resealable. Why well, I can buy underwear in a resealable container, and it's, but it's hard to buy bacon in a resealable container. I don't know. So it's the close of day two of Wing Ding. Um, first full day here in Shreveport. Uh, I started off the day really excited for what I had in store, the um, uh, the trailer in class, um, all, just all the opportunity before me. But before I even got in the convention center, I was given the news. See, I missed the opening ceremony. And so a person asked me, do you see the ceremony? And I said, no, I didn't quite get up fast enough and talk a little bit about that. And they're like, well, they announced that this is the last wing ding and the Gold Wing Road Riders Association is going away. So that kind of took the wind out of my sails for the day. Um, you can see some video of the, of the vendors. If you compare that to uh, the last year's vendors, it's substantially more subdued than before. Now I don't know if the vendors were aware of what's going on or if this is just you know a continuation of, of things deteriorating over the last I don't know 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, I've only been a member of GWRA since 2017. I got active in uh, I think that's right yeah I got active in 18. So um, yeah I haven't really seen the slow deterioration but you can definitely tell from this year to last year and then obviously it's going away so i have to do some thinking on, on what does that mean for me uh, there's some uh, executive meetings tomorrow here at wingding and more information will be given maybe some decision will be made i really don't know what's going to go on i'm certainly not that high up but i do know things are are happening um, we got to find out what are we doing with the chapters, uh, especially, you know, they can't stop us from meeting, but what does it mean for us to meet as a group of people? You know, can the, the districts do something? You know, do they form a 501c3? I have no idea. Anyway, so uh, that's what's going on at Wingding. That's the big big news uh, if you're a member I believe you have a an email that states that so if you're like me and and don't believe it at first uh, check your email it's it's in there it's uh, it's going away so what, what do we do what do we as a writing community do um, the thing that really set GW apart was the focus on education and safety uh, there's a lot of organizations out there that are about rioting and, and those types of things with an, you know, some emphasis on safety and, and training, but not to the extent GW was. But I'm here at Wingding. I'm in the trailer class. They don't offer this class. I haven't seen it anywhere else but here. There's just two of us in the class. There's me, another rider, and his co-rider. So three people. That's it. Um, it's... It's very sad. There's three instructors and then an observer. So that gives you an idea. You know, we're one to one. Uh, and then on the range tomorrow, uh, you know, it'll be three to two because uh, the co rider is not going to participate on the range. So that seems really sad. I'm really thankful 
for the instructors that are still still doing this even though there's only two of us so I did want to do this video to compare uh, an ARC to this uh, trailer in class not much of a need to we'll see in the uh, class itself not learning a lot different from the ARC um, but the, the range should be because I'll have a trailer on so I am still looking forward to learning this but um, a, a, a deep dive compares is nonsense at this point um, because if you haven't done the class you're not going to get a chance to do the class and if you've done the class you know the differences if you if you want me to make a video maybe a short or something going into it let me know in the comments uh, otherwise we'll we'll grieve together we'll pull through this together um, the good news is uh, youtubers uh, I like to say like myself like Carnell like Memphis Mike Chris Caliente have a community and it's not just Goldwing riders it's a community of riders and I'd like to think that we could pull together to do some good stuff um, so I'll uh, I have a chance to, to do some stuff with Carnell and, and his crew uh, tomorrow I'll see if they're open to talk about anything we might need to give it some time um, if you don't know the GWRA is really near and dear to my heart especially Oregon chapter I um, they they came through for me when I was when I was not well um, and I, I think if you watch the, the video on why I'm um, why I'll always be a Goldwing a Road Rider Association member you know, you'll understand um, so the fact that this organization as a whole is going away is very sad for me um, yeah so but what do we what do we do now what can we do what do we do um but yeah um you're my you're part of my community so i really want you to uh to let me know what you would look forward to in a in a community of like-minded writers writers who are focused on you know the, the basically the things of the going writers but we'll just say you know fun and friends and safety what um what would you like to see in that kind of community i don't want to say organization because obviously that's not working anymore but we can pull together as a community um and we don't even have to be that close together what uh, what would you like to see in that kind of community let me know in the comments um so we'll we'll try to pull off a uh, a day three um yeah, it's it's hard i was excited coming in and and certainly not excited now um but there there's going to be opportunities ahead whenever there's a big change like this i know there's opportunities but right now it's it's sad and it hurts and i'm dazed and i'm confused would have liked some i don't know would like for it not to be going the way it's going but it is and we we have to move on but it's just hard so thank you uh special shout out to oregon chapter i i'm also thankful i was a, a part of uh, uh georgia b and um i guess i'm still part of uh tennessee a um great people again chapter i near and dear to my heart love you guys miss you i wish i could have spent more time there um yes thank you very much until until the next time I report, hopefully tomorrow, uh, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.